All right, guys. Hey, we're back at the golf course today. Um, this, I found this is a good place to go right after I get off work when I don't have a lot of time um, because they have a lot of cool things here. As you saw last night, they got frogs here, which is amazing. But today I'm going to be harvesting cattail pollen, and uh, I'm hoping that there's some young green cattail shoots uh, on the top of the cattails. If not, that's okay, but uh, I, I saw some pollen there last night, and I'm going to harvest some of that. See all that pollen on there? So I'm going to go ahead and just stick this in the bag and give it a shake. Hey, there we go. We got some pollen flour, and I can twist these off. And uh, these right here are good to eat, too. So I'm going to gather up. I'm going to gather up as many of those as I can here. Get as much pollen as I can. And the thing about cattail pollen is it's super high in protein. It's like, I think it's close to 20% protein. And uh, these flowers are really good. They're kind of like, uh, they got kind of almost like a corn on the cob taste. And uh, I really, really, really like them. All right, we got a whole bunch of cattail pollen here. So I'm gonna gather up as much as I can. All right, well, we got about a half a cup of pollen. I'm gonna keep on looking around, try to get as much as we can. Hey guys, well, we're out here fishing. I'm doing a little bit of fly fishing on a lake here with my father-in-law, Rick. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch a couple trout. And I didn't notice it before, but look at that cool shirt on the back of that guy. Uh, he said, I didn't notice it before, but look at the cool shirt on the back of that guy. Bigfoot's Outdoor Adventures. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, we got a monster on our fly pole. Here we go. Let me bring him up right here. Oh, look at him. He's huge. <laughs> He's huge. There he is. Look at that monster. Little bluegill. There he is. We're going to throw him back. I'm not that hungry. But if I was that hungry, I would be eating him. There's a trout out there right in front of me. Now well, we got a, another monster on our hands. River monsters. They should put me on a next episode of River Monsters. Look at that. <coughs> Bigfoot needs a little more nap. But they're starting to, this is starting to bite. <coughs> we got some good music on. And so that should attract the fish. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, guys, we got it. Finally, we got a good fish. Let me get it up here. There we go. All right, here we go. It's a good one. It's not a trout, but it's a keeper. It's one I'll eat if I can get it in. Got a nice size crappie. <clears throat> well, nice size for this place here. But uh, get them out of the net and we'll show them. There we go. About hand size. 
there. And that'll be part of my dinner tonight. Awesome. Don't have to eat just vegetables again. All right. We'll put him on a stringer. Huh? Yeah. All right. See if we can get a couple more of those. We'll have a real good dinner. I love coffee. All right, guys. Well, we're leaving the lake with one fish. Got a bunch of little ones. Lost a couple other little ones, probably little ones. I don't know. But, uh, well, I got some meat to eat with my uh, other uh, stuff, cattail heads and cattail pollen. All right, we'll see you in the kitchen. All right, guys. Well, we made a home with our, uh, our fish here. So I'm going to clean it. I showed you this earlier when we were getting it, but... We've got almost a full cup of uh, flour here. This is cattail pollen. Look at that stuff, amazing stuff. So um, I'm gonna put some of this on my fish tonight. And this stuff's super high in protein. The other thing we've got is um, these here. And I'm gonna um, cook these with my fish and eat them, they're like corn on the cob. Mm, they're good. Let me, let me show you how I'm gonna clean this thing. I'm not gonna. All I'm gonna do is gut it. I'm not. I'm not filleting it. I'm not a big fan of filleting fish, anyways, because I feel like you waste a lot. So uh, here we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut right up through here, like the other fish. I'll cut him. I'll cut her right up to the gills, right there. And I'll just come behind the gills. Right there. There we go. And I'll remove the gills. And the guts. And it's got a little row sack there. Yum. And crappie row is pretty good. And super good for you. And then I just like to take, because I'm going to cook it over fire, so I'm going to just make a couple of slits in it. And that's going to allow some of the, um, the flavor from the smoke from the um, grill to penetrate in. So there we go. I just got a few little cuts in there. And that fish is ready to go on the grill. I'm gonna try to fry all this. I was gonna cook everything on the grill, but since there's some roe here, I like um, fried roe, especially from crappie. So I'm going to do that. And what's what what else is cool is uh, this um, pollen that we got from uh, cattails earlier. I I can roll those uh, that roe in some of this and uh, fry it to give it a nice little um, uh, a nice little batter. And so we're gonna do that. And then we got our cattail flowers here, right here. And uh, we are going to boil these and eat those like corn on the cob. So I got my pan of water here, I got my frying pan. And um, I think I'll just put a little bit of water. I think I'll just put a bit of water in the frying pan and see if I can fry things like that. All right, we got our cattail pollen here. I'm gonna sprinkle it on this row here and uh, that's going to be a nice little breading all right so we're rolling our, our uh, crappie row around in this uh, flour here from our cattail there we go we got some Cattail flour battered uh, crappie row. There it is. All right, well, we're going to see how this works. There we go. Man, 
here and here goes the row. And the trick to this is going to be not flipping that, not flipping those things, uh, but one time. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, peeling off the stuff and it's going to be messy. All right. Well, I'm flipping our, flipping our stuff here, and so far it's working good. The water's evaporated out, but uh, I think everything cooked enough for it to not stick. So I flipped it. I didn't put very much water in there. Just about a tablespoon. Water heating up right here for our cattail flour. Flowers. They don't take very long. And I can go ahead and drop them in there. Alright, look we got a little toast going on that row. Might add just a little more water. Turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take our row off because it's definitely done. Alright, here we go. So we got our, our uh, crappie, our crappie row, and our uh, cattail flowers. It, cattail pollen doesn't necessarily taste like really much of anything. It's just more for the health benefits. And, uh, oh, there's a ladybug in there. And there we go. Okay. Start off with one of these cattails. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Like eating corn on cob. This is why cattails is my favorite um, food out there in the wild because it has so many different uses. You got flour, you got the pollen to add to the flour to make a nice flavor. You got these uh, flour tops here that you can eat like corn on the cob. <laughs> Uh, the roots you can eat uh, boiled grilled or you can uh, turn them into flour too mm. These are good You can boil these Sometimes I like these sauteed in butter, but like I said we're using all Natural things so mm. My wife even tried this. She said it was good. All right. Now let's try one of these these uh, row sacks here. Tastes like scrambled eggs. Pretty much. Actually, really good. Tastes just like. Scrambled eggs. Really good for you too. All right, we're gonna eat our fish here. With some, uh, with some of that, um, Pollen from the cattail. Very good. Oh, got a little, uh, got a scale. Not quite as good as the frog legs, but still pretty good. all these bones in here you can just pull these bones out the head on fish has got in my opinion some of the best meat on fish sometimes you just got to put the fork down and just bite it 
There we go. And then you can just take the vertebrae like this, pull it out. There we go. Now we can leave the skin on and just kind of flip it over like this and gnaw on it. Mm. Our last little pieces of fish here. And that's that. All right, well, that's, that's our meal. And uh, finished her up. That was pretty good. It was really good, and uh, I feel good. All right, well, that's that. Um, this has been day six of uh, Big, Bigfoot's uh, Catch, Forge, and Kill 30-day uh, series uh, where I eat only what I kill, catch, or forage. And so uh, I'm feeling great. And uh, so stay tuned for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be day seven. And uh, if you haven't, subscribed yet to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button um if you like this kind of stuff if you don't well then you don't have to hit it but i would appreciate it if you did consider liking the video and uh, if you enjoyed this and if you learned something that's my aim is to teach people um more ways to live naturally off the land instead of buying store-bought store -bought garbage all right, well, this has been Bigfoot. We'll catch you tomorrow on, on uh, day seven. Go out and go do a little bit of fishing and harvest some cattails. All right, we'll talk to you guys. We'll catch you guys later. This is Bigfoot. Out.